the int, or the integer, as we sometimes call it, it's probably the first data type you discovered in C. We all love it. We use it all the time. But today, I want to give you an alternative that has some nice advantages. You see, the int data type in C has a problem. It doesn't have a standard size. An int is 32 bits on my laptop and 16 bits on many microcontrollers like this MSP430. So code that uses ints might work on one machine, but not on another, or they may just behave differently, depending on what machine you compile them for. And we all want our code to be portable, so, so that's why we have what are called standard integer types. These were included in the C99 standard, and to use them, all you need to do is include standard int.h. And then they take the following form. So here's two examples. The first one is an unsigned 8-bit integer. The U tells us that it's unsigned. The second is a signed 64-bit integer. And of course, you can specify anything in between, like 16-bit or 32-bit. So really, that's it. An easy way to produce integer variables that will be the same size on any machine you use. I hope that helps, and happy coding.